Hi everybody, my name is Lauren. I'm the park naturalist here at the Estuary Center and today I wanted to take a few minutes to share one of our really cool critters. So right here in front of me I have our female black rat snake and black rat snakes are common in Maryland. You can find them, you know, sunbathing on a nice warm day. Um, because it's March, we're gonna start seeing them coming out in the next couple weeks, weeks which is really exciting. Um, and black, black rat snakes are really cool for a couple of reasons. So one of the things is their tongue. They stick their tongue out quite a bit and a lot of times kids think, you know, they're just sticking their tongues out at you, but really they're using that tongue to smell. And they are smelling to figure out what's going on in their environment and to also find food. Um, so they have an organ called a Jacobson organ and cats have this organ too that help them collect extra scent. They don't see as well sometimes when they're on the forest floor. So uh, this having this tongue and being able to smell helps them find prey and find food. And speaking of food, what do they like to eat? So at the center, we feed them a mouse about once a week, uh, but in the wild, they're gonna be eating a variety of different rodents. They might go after frogs, um, and they also love to eat bird eggs. Black rat snakes are known for climbing. They climb trees in the woods, they climb up on our wood duck boxes in the marsh, um, and they're looking for the, those bird eggs to swallow whole. It's one of their favorite snacks and they swallow their food whole. So if you can imagine the size of a wood duck egg and the mouth of this black rat, rat snake and seeing how they can swallow that, it's really, really cool. Um, here at the Estuary Center, we do critter dinners where we feed our snakes once a month for the public. So we encourage you to come and check that out to see it in person. Um, these are constrictors, they do not have venom. So if you get bit by one, you wanna you know, clean the wound and everything, but it's not gonna hurt you like a venomous snake. There is only one venomous snake in Harford County, and that would be the copperhead, which we don't see too often here at the Estuary Center. Um, but even with any wild snake, um, they you wanna keep your distance to respect them. Now this snake, she's used to being handled. She's handled by our volunteers, by our staff on a regular basis, so she's very calm. But a wild snake is gonna think that you're gonna try and eat it. So you don't wanna get too close. You wanna make them feel um, safe by keeping your distance. Um, if you do see a snake and you pay attention to its body language, you can tell when the snake is feeling threatened. These are a, a few other cool things that they'll do. So one, because the snake's used to me, I can do this. Um, they'll do something called an S pose. So they'll move their neck into an S shape like, like so. And the reason they do that is so they can get enough power to strike when they're ready to bite. They will only bite you if they're afraid of you. So if you see that motion with their neck, step back and give them some space. Another neat thing that they'll do, if I can find her tail, <laughs> is that they use their tail and they kind of mimic a rattlesnake, which we do have in Western Maryland, and they'll shake their tail in the leaves to kind of warn you to get back. Even though they're not rattlesnakes, they do use that noise as a warning. Um, these snakes are super, super important for our environment because of what they eat. They eat rodents, which pop which uh, reproduce really, really quickly. And so we need animals like snakes, which can get into smaller places to eat them. Plus ticks love rodents as well. And so if the snakes are out there eating the rodents, then the ticks are getting eaten as well. And that keeps our tick population down. So we really need to make sure that we're protecting them. Um, if we find them in our homes, call somebody to get them out or call somebody you know that can get them out of your house um, and let them go in the wild because they are important for our um, environment. And if you wanna learn any more, if you wanna come and see her eat, please come back and visit us when the center is back up and running and you can come and say hello to her and all of the other animals that we have here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we will try to uh, get back to you with some more videos about our critters during the time of social distancing. So uh, take care and stay healthy.